right, this is a video walk around of a 1993 Thunder Gull J model. J2, excuse me, J2. It's not the JT2. The T2 is a trainer with controls in the back seat, but this one doesn't have controls in the back seat. Okay, as you can see, it's got that factory paint job that looks so cool. I'll zoom in here on things. The wing, as you can see, the paint job a little scuffed and definitely needs to be washed and cleaned up and probably put a clear coat on it or something to bring it out. The flaps were replaced with with metal flaps, metal skin flaps rather than the fabric. Uh, and uh, okay, there's the engine. It's got a three blade ultra prop on it. It's, uh, Rotex 503. Uh, B box with a 258 to 1. Bing 54 carbs. Uh, Single ignition 503. Um, uh, engine fuel pump, where is it? There it is. Engine fuel pump. Uh, electric start. Come around this other side here. It's got a uh, uh, very quiet muffler. It's got this extra. Uh, muffler thing and then the pipe takes off out here so it's really quite uh, it's a lot quieter than most um, and the ballistic recovery system chute is right there I'll show the I'll show you the bottom of it when we look in the cabin that's the top of it okay and uh, where is it here? Oh, there we go. So, the uh, cool paint job. And there's the uh, manufacturer tag on it. It was put on in 83, but the, the airplane was actually, I mean, excuse me, uh, uh, 2008, this was put on there. But the airplane itself was actually manufactured in 93, and there's the serial number and everything. It was actually made by Thundergall. And where's the, there's the end number on it. It's got that full flying tail that these things have with the elevator trim on it. Looks really cool as it goes up down the elevator trim goes up and down it's got that uh, neat uh, uh, paint of the thunder gull on it uh, there's a little bit of fabric repair needed in little spots like that but overall the fabric is you know it's good good enough to do a lot of flying um, you know, there's a little scuffing where the paint could be touched up. There was a, a fabric repair here, and it was uh, and then painted over with silver, and the paint scheme has not been completed on it because it's a rather complicated paint scheme. And there's the other wing. No damage history. Airplane uh, flies great. Fuselage uh, here, main landing wheel. Okay, nose wheel. It's got the pitot tube right there. And, uh, these are fiberglass rods to give it spring for landing. Got an external aviation radio antenna. And got K 
cable actuated brakes, Oops. cable actuated disc brakes, that work real good. I'll show you the back seat first here. So the back seat, there's your gas tank, and uh, you can see the bottom of the BRS here, ballistic recovery system. There's a gas tank in here. There's a, a fuel fuel pump and water separator. That's the water separator. The fuel pump is a silver thing, right? Be, or a, a copper colored thing behind it there. Let me see if I can see a different angle of it. There it is. There's a fuel pump, electric fuel pump. Okay, there's no back seat, as you can see. No back seat in it at this time. I don't know if there was ever a back seat in it, but you could put a back seat in it. It's just quite small. There's the box for the uh, electronic um, system for electronic information system for engine and all that kind of stuff. Here's where your battery box is. Uh, your seat belts. Okay, and go to the front seat here. Real big cushy front seat. Uh, throttle there. Uh, here's your BRS handle here. Oh, and right down here, this is your elevator trim. Works real slick. And your center stick. And your cables for your brakes. These are your cables for your cables for your brakes they're attached to the bottom as heel brakes and then the top are, are your rudder control okay we we'll get a shot of the instrument panel here so we have electric fuel pump strobe landing lights and there's that's not working uh, GPS is not hooked up to anything and your engine information system this radio shouldn't be in here for this video but that's it doesn't go with the airplane it's just the aviation radio and here's a power switch for your radio if you happen to have it wired in that way and uh compass is up on top with a little note in it that's inoperative at the moment and there's your airspeed indicator your g meter and this is your master for everything. Now your starter and ignition switch is right up here, right behind you. So there's the starter. Oops, where'd it go? There's the starter and ignition switch for the single ignition and a primer. Okay, that's... Oh, and then you got your flaps. Your flaps go there's two, three, three position flap all the way up, middle, which is 15 degrees, and then down, which is 30 degrees, and it's right, right next to your throttle handle hand there. And as you can see outside, the, the uh, flap's going up and down. Okay, let's see. Have I not mentioned anything? I think that's all there is to it. And then the door has a your door has a very simple latch mechanism on it. Okay. That's, my name is Frank Clark. My phone number is 253-709-0697. Give me a call if you're interested.